السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اگین ون آف دی موسٹ ایڈوینس گرامیٹیکل پوائنٹ ٹرانزیشنز اور ٹرانزیشنل ورڈز فرسٹ آف آل آئی وانا ایکسپلین دس ان ویری ویری سمپل ورڈز ورڈ ا ٹرانزیشنل ورڈ از and then I will teach you how to use transitional words correctly in your sentences and we're going to talk about the uh, positions of transitional words in English language as well. So what is a transitional word? Look, it is a word or a group of words. It could be just one word, like however. It's just one word, right? Or in fact, it could be a two-word transitional word. It could be, you know, for example, for instance, uh, or more, more than I mean, uh, more than one word. So it is, it is a word or a group of words which is used to combine ideas between sentences and paragraphs. Look, the difference between uh, conjunctions and transitions. Conjunctions are used to combine words, phrases, clauses, and sentences. Okay. You may combine two phrases or two words in uh, simple sentences, in compound sentences, in complex sentences. Or you may combine two classes or more than two classes in compound and complex sentences. So simply conjunctions are used to combine, uh, you know, words, phrases, classes, and sentences. But transitional words are used to combine ideas between sentences and paragraphs without knowing uh, how to use transitional words correctly in your sentences, I'm pretty sure that no one will be able to write academic essays correctly, okay? Because transitional words help you move smoothly from one idea to the next idea, okay? And uh, you need coherence and cohesion, right? You need transitional words uh, for the logical order in your sentence and in chronological order and to move from one idea to the next idea smoothly, okay? So all transitional words in English language, there's just example about what one transitional word, in fact. But there are many transitional words. You have already learned uh, those transitional words uh, while uh, learning adverb classes, if you remember, right? However, nevertheless, nonetheless, huh? Uh, for example, in fact, uh, furthermore, moreover. So there are many, many transitional words. But all of them can be used in five different ways, different positions, sorry, in spoken English, in three uh, different uh, ways in uh, or spoken English, okay? Because in spoken English, there are two ways where you just need a, a comma or a semicolon or full stop. So, I mean, in spoken English, nobody knows, I mean, the difference, uh, I mean, among the other three ways or between the other two, two ways. But in, 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 in written English, there are five ways. In spoken English, there are three ways. So, there's just one sentence over here. China has a lot of population. In fact, it is overpopulated. Uh, if you pay attention to all of these sentences, <coughs> the transitional word, in fact, in fact, I mean, it is used in five uh, different ways. So the first way, you use full stop or period at the end of your you know, first sentence. And then you use, uh, I mean, the transitional word, at uh, the beginning of your next sentence, and it should be followed by one comma, and your transitional word should be capitalized, okay? Now here, capitalization is important. It should be capitalized. Why? Because there's full stop, and then it starts the second sentence. And do not forget that transitional words cannot be used uh, in your first sentence. They're always used in the second sentence, but in five different ways in written English. So that is the first way. The second way, uh, instead of a full stop, instead of, you know, period, you may use a comma, okay? And then again, I mean, uh, after the transitional word, there's another comma, but the difference is that it must be, in this case, it, it must be capitalized. In this case, it doesn't have to be capitalized. 
The third way, you may use a semicolon instead of a comma, okay? Again, no capitalization. And there's still one comma. But there's one more way. Uh, you can use the transitional word uh, between the subject and verb form. It's possible, okay? All transitional words can be used in this way too, okay? So in this case, I mean, you, you stop the first sentence with the period or full stop, and then you use the subject and then a comma, okay? And then the transitional word and then a comma. So in this case, you need two commas. When it comes to punctuation, you need two commas if you want to use the transitional word in this way. I mean, between subject and, and its verb form. One comma before and one comma after a transitional word. Oh, then, you know, main verb form and then uh, rest of the sentence. Like, you know, it, in fact, is overpopulated. And finally, uh, you may use your transitional word at the end of your second sentence. And it should be preceded by a comma which means that there should be a comma before your transitional word. But it's, uh, I would say it's kind of spoken. I mean, in spoken English, this way is used a lot. I mean, using transitional word, the end of your second sentence. It's kind of uh, a part of the spoken English, yeah. So these five ways, all transitional words can be used in these five different ways, okay? So now we have further more Moreover, okay, in addition, these three transitional words have exactly the same meaning, but I uh, mean, uh, in addition is very, very common. Moreover, or uh, for example, furthermore, these two are kind of, you know, more uh, academic and more formal, okay? And then you have, how, uh, you have however, nevertheless, and nonetheless. So however is like very common in daily English. But nevertheless and nonetheless, these two are kind of academic and more formal. They can be used somehow in academic or written English. So there are many, many transitional words in English. Even, look, look, when you write a paragraph, okay, first of all, comma, and then you start in the sentence. First of all, that is also a transitional word. <coughs> you want to bring a kind of order, what happened first, second, and then you say next. See, the word next is a transitional word. Okay, after that, after that, this group of words, after that, I mean these two uh, words, that is also a transitional word, which is used for bringing a kind of order, a sequence of uh, actions or activities, okay? Uh, for example, you want to write mm, a narrative paragraph, like <coughs> you want to write <coughs> a narrative paragraph uh, in which you are trying to tell a story. Okay, what happened first, next, after that, second, third. So these are all transitional words. So without these transitional words, you cannot bring that, that order, that sequence of, you know, uh, activities or actions. You need them, okay? So first of all, then you bring a sentence. Next, then you bring, you know, another sentence. Okay, for example, uh, yesterday we had a trip to... to, to to Jalalabad. First of all, we rented a taxi. Next, uh, you know, we decided to, uh, to, to, to stop along the way and have lunch. Uh, after that, okay, we started our trip towards Jalalabad. See? So, first of all, next, after that, second, third, finally, when you want to bring a conclusion, to conclude as a conclusion, to sum up, okay? Uh, so all of these words and phrases are called transitional words or transitional phrases, okay? And all of them can be used in these five ways in spoken English and three ways in, uh, sorry, three ways in spoken English and these five ways in written English. So uh, once again, I think we had already somehow, you know, covered, I mean, the positions of transitional words in some other videos, but this video was specifically about uh, transitional words and their positions and their usages in sentences. So I hope that now you can use transitional words correctly in your sentences. And you know what the job of transitional words is? They are used to combine 
ideas between sentences and paragraphs, okay? And uh, it's a very important part of uh, the advanced grammar and every English learner needs to know what transitional words are and how they can be used in sentences, right? So you can do some more research, okay? And you can do the exercises. After you do the exercises, uh, I mean, it will be even easier for you to, 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 to learn how to use these uh, transitional words in your sentences. So any questions? So everything is clear? Yeah. Bye-bye. Have a great time, everybody.